what is up my dudes and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys the Doe 335A0 rank 3 battle rating 47 German heavy fighter. Now keeping in with uh, last video with the Hornet I kind of wanted to do something a little bit heavier but something that feels like it's got a little bit of oomph to it you know and the Doe 335 last time I've played this thing it it's probably been a year at this point um it, it accelerates really fast it hits pretty hard this one in particular um this isn't the one that you can carry bombs with i think that one is this one right here yeah this is the one that you can carry bombs with but i think this one also only gets 15 millimeter guns yes it does and that's why i don't like that one this one you don't get bombs with it but you can switch out the 15 millimeter guns for 20 millimeter guns or if you're like a super fan of the Doe 335, um, you probably have the B2. It's uh, it's 5.7, but it has three 30 millimeter cannons on it. Pretty good at cast, pretty good bomber killer. Uh, pretty fast too, and it's quite maneuverable once it gets up to speed as well. So I'm pretty curious to see if it still holds up to how I remember it being, you know, pretty fast, pretty nimble at speed. But, you know, once you lose all your speed, it is a big plane. It's pretty heavy. Let's like, look at that. Look at all that stuff in there. Like, they got a... That's it's just a big plane. It really is. Um, and if you've seen pictures of it, um, I, I probably won't have one on here. I might. Um, they're also... Yeah, they're just big planes. So, uh, stay fast, stay nimble, stay alive. That's how you, that's how you fly the Doe 335, and we're going to see, uh, see how I do. But before we do that... I do want to say that I do have Twitch and Discord links in the description below, and an in-game squadron for those of you who are interested. So with all of that out of the way, Alright, so we're here on Operation uh, Uranus against the American Soviets and the Swedes. And I do want to say, just from the get-go, from when I played it last, the Doe 335 just sounds different. I think it's something about the engines, they feel, they feel like as bassy. Or more bassy, I should say. And if you guys aren't aware, I'm gonna go for this PE2. But look at this atrocious cockpit. It, it reminds me of uh, the KI-108, the heavy fighter in Japan. If you've ever seen that thing's cockpit, it's like a mess of like steel bars and just it's gross. All right, let's see if we can get this PE2. All right, yeah, he'll probably go down. Yep, that's a dead PE2. KV-1 Bush Daddy. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of fighters beneath us. Let's see here. BF-109. We still have a couple more things further out. And I don't want to overextend and get myself caught out being dumb. I kind of want to go check out and see what that guy is. So I'm probably going to do that. P-47, three and a half miles away. I have altitude. I am quite separated from my team. That's okay though. I'm pretty sure this P-47 might try to stall climb towards me. What are you doing there, buddy? Let me see if I can catch you all alone. There's a poor mirror ski over there. Those things are terrifying. Absolutely terrifying little Swedish planes. Alright, no, he's way too slow. He's just gonna fall out of the sky. Hmm, I didn't, uh, kill him, but he's definitely not recovering from that. Yeah, that's a bad time for that guy. Alright, he's gonna go down. I need to... Ooh, well, hello there. Yeah, I didn't realize he still had some fight left in him. This thing doesn't have combat flaps, I'm just now realizing that. It only has takeoff and landing, and of course raised. Fucking die, dude, damn. Alright, he's finally dead. Okay, we got a Yak-9 and a BF-109. On the deck. They're kind of skirting on the deck right now. The Act 9 is running. It looks like he's leaking oil, maybe coolant. I'm going to pounce him. Yeah. I'm going to be able to pounce this guy and be able to run away. It's the Act 9T. Yeah, 
All right, that's number three. Looking good, looking good. XP 50, far away. Don't know where that poor Amirsky went. P26, there's a P47 just doing his own thing over there. Spitfire shot down the BF-109. All right, I guess I'll go for this P-47, who's all on his lonesome over here. Am I the closest one to him? I am. Okay, well, there's the poor Amirsky. He's way over there. He kills top of the team? Okay, okay. All right, come here, P-47. You and I have business to attend to. I'd like to talk to you about your plane's extended warranty. I, I know he sees me. There's no way he doesn't see me. That's why he's running away. But he waited too long, so now I'm going to catch him anyway. Or he'll be a, a little bitch and crash into the AA like that. Don't be that guy. You give everybody else in this game a bad name by doing that shit. Alright, they have four guys left. I'm in no position to kill any of them, so I guess I'll see you in the next one. Alright, so uh, the snail saw that I had a good game last game and decided to punish me with a full up tier. Uh, as you can see, Spitfire Mark 9, Buckle D9. Against the Americans and the Japanese, we got two B-17s over here. I'm tempted to go after them because I'm a do 335 that's what I do. That's my jam, but that is two of them. They're not in a squad, but they are sticking together in like a kill box type formation, so. Hmm. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like I like making poor poor decisions. Oh dude, there's a TU2 up there too. Heck yeah. Oh, they're shooting at the TU2, they're not even paying any attention to me. Oh well, TU2's dead. Okay, well, it's, the attention's probably going to fall to me here. How funny would that have been if I'd actually hit that guy? Alright, I'm just going to hang out back here for a little bit. Quick my engine, try not to. Hmm, okay, yeah, they see me. I've been seen. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, well, you, you, sir, ow, ow, are actually hitting me. Alright, come here. Okay, you're on fire. Those bombs? No, that's just parts of his plane. Okay, I'm cooking my engine. Rip teammates be useless? Oh, hmm. Look at me just kind of fucking off doing my own thing over here, not even paying attention. It's okay. I'm a do 335. This is what I do. I go chase the bombers. There is a lot of fighters left. Is that guy still burning? Yes. Yes, he is. Okay, let me get some more speed on this guy. Yeah. I don't care if I use all my 30 millimeter ammo on this guy. Because I can bring fighters down with the 20. Alright. And you're on fire as well. Let me go ahead and say my goodbyes. Alright, so I have over half of my 20mm cannon ammo left. A lot of A6M5s. Is... Okay, that's not fire, that's just... Nope, he is still burning. I don't get that. I don't get how... Okay, that guy already put his fire out, but that guy's been burning for like 5 minutes. I technically have 0 kills still. I wonder if I'm going to get credit for that B-17. Maybe not. I don't know. He's in like an unrecoverable flat spin. No, he's, he's just coming this way. Okay. And that guy, I don't even know what his deal is. But that Spitfire is in trouble. 
Oh. Spitfire's dead, bro. Hmm. I have lost the visual on all three of them. There they are. Alright. I'm gonna try to be cheeky, kill my engine. Let me see if I can't sneak up on them. Oh, shit. No! I almost had him. Alright, well. Let's play this game. Come here. Come here. Bye, Zero. See you later. <clears throat> still 98 rounds of ammo left. I don't know how those B-17s are still alive. He is still on fire. Oh! Hmm. What to do? Where'd you go? Alright, well, that one just came up from uh, above me, so I'm just gonna die here. I accept my fate. I accept my death. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. How many more rounds are you gonna shoot at me before I die? I don't know if that's a testament to my tankiness or his shitty guns. I don't know. Let me see if I can put it down in this field. <laughs> is he gonna let me is he gonna let me oh uh, the b-17 is still not having it oh that would have been hilarious if i thought to shoot okay that's baller he didn't have to do that let me s all right i'm gonna die yep yep all right that's good while it lasted gg Alright y'all, that's probably going to be it for today's video. Pretty pretty short on games, it was only two, but they were pretty long, so I'm, I'm happy with both of them. One of them we did pretty well in, got three kills, and the other one, we also, I still feel, we did pretty well in, considering the circumstances. Even though uh, we didn't get credit for those two bomber kills, uh, I think that's kind of bullshit, honestly. I feel like I should have gotten both of them, but, you know, it's fucking worth under. It is what it is, so... You know, we just had to settle for two that game. But I'm still happy with that. And I'm happy with the Do 335 and how it seems to fit in War Thunder currently. It seems it seems like it's a nice fit. It it does what it was meant to do very well. Um it's fast, it's still pretty fast. Um and it's probably because the two engines, but uh just don't let people come up from behind you and above you, and you'll probably be okay. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, the Mark 103s still pack a punch. The MG 151s, I feel like they've, I, I feel like they've nerfed them just a little bit because they don't, they don't, you know, rip people apart in two hits like they do anymore. And that's probably all cannons when they dialed it back a little bit a few weeks ago, a few months ago at this point. I don't, I don't know. I'm terrible with, uh, keeping track of with when War Thunder does things. I just know they do things. Um, but yeah, man, I do like the Doe 335, and I think it's a it's a heavy fighter that is worth checking out. There's not really, really very many heavy fighters in War Thunder that are worth your time, but I feel like the Doe 335 is one of them. And before I leave you guys, I just want to say, like I said in the beginning, I do have Twitch and Discord in the description below, and an in-game squadron for those of you who are interested in something like that as well. So I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.